If you're a video editor, you know the struggle, and endless hours spent fine-tuning your projects, clicking and dragging your way to perfection. But what if I told you there's a secret weapon, a magical device that can turbocharge your editing process? This is called, Tourbox Elite. It's an editing controller for photo, video and audio. And it will help to control over the entire creative process, with a single hand. For example timeline control, triming and color grading. Also, you can set up any complex tasks into a simple clicks, spins and shortcuts. So today we're going to dive deep into this compact powerhouse. And this video is sponsored by Tourbox. You can check it out under the description link. The package is delivered using FedEx Express. Let's take a look inside the package. They sent me a USB Type-C cable, so I can connect it to the controller. And a travel storage case. They said that this travel case is waterproof and shockproof. So it will help to keep your controller safe during your travels. Now let's open up the Tour Box Elite. When you open the box, you'll receive a quick guides, safety tips, and the help center info. Now finally the Tourbox controller of course. Tourbox Elite comes with three different colors. Classic Black, Ivory White, and Modern Smoke. Modern Smoke Black is the special edition. This is the previous one Tourbox Neo. I've been using the Neo for over a year, it's already became a part of my daily workflow. That's why you can see so many fingerprints on it. For the Tourbox Elite, you don't need to worry about handprints. And I feel that it is more premium. And the best part Tourbox Elite, it has Bluetooth and comes with double batteries installed. So there are two available options for connectivity, either through Bluetooth or a USB cable. To set up this controller, first we need to download and install the Tourbox console. Then open this application. Now we can connect it via Bluetooth or USB cable. Let's turn it on by switching this little power button. Here I would like to connect it using the USB cable. Then going back to the Tourbox console. So the way you set it up, you can first select and enable the presets for the software that you use. This controller is compatible with all creator applications. For now I'm gonna use it for Premiere Pro. Then you can turn on the auto switch, which will automatically switch the preset based on the application you are using. Also, you can use the head-up display for the beginning. You can go through the functions of the buttons and dials. Now we can start assigning actions to each button and dials. There are total 11 buttons and 3 dials on the tour box. Also, we can program double press and 2 button combinations. For example at the top button, I would like to set it for add edit, which is control plus K on the keyboard shortcut. Under the kit section. For the up button, I would like to use the razor tool. For the down button I'm gonna use the ripple delete. For the left button ripple trim previous edit. And the right button, ripple trim next edit. Now you can make your own custom preset. For example one for editing, one for color grading, audio editing and etc. Or you can use the other creator presets, go to the video editing, and select Premiere. Here you can download these presets. Then going back to the Tourbox console, and click on the import presets icon. Now select and open the downloaded preset. To link this preset click on it, and select the application. Also, you can export your own preset. If you accidentally delete any presets, so that you can use them later. In the tour box, I've set up my most frequently used shortcut. Using the first dial knob, we can zoom in and out our timeline. Using the second knob, we can move the timeline left and right. Using the top button we can make a cut, just the way we set it up. We can undo and redo using C1 and C2. Using the third dial knob, we can move the time indicator. Under the kit sections, for the up button we can select the razor tool. Using the down button we can make ripple delete, but we need to select the move tool. So using the side button, we can select the move tool. Now select the clip, and let's click on the down button for ripple delete. Using the right button for ripple trim next edit. And the left button for ripple trim previous edit. Tall button using for the alt key. And short button for the space key. 
If we double click on the side button, this will save our project. Double click on the tall button for render the project file. This is called tour button. We can use this button for switching our presets. Now our current preset is color grading. Here we can color grade our footage without opening the Lumetri color tab. Also, we can move the different color tab by using these four buttons. For the color grading process, we can use the Toolbox Elite as a gamepad. Using that method, I can set any mouse action within the Toolbox. For example, I've set the log to Rec 709. So now I can apply it without opening the Creative tab. So go to the Toolbox console. You can see that I didn't set up the top X2. X2 means double click on the top button. So let's set it up here. Click on macro, then click on the plus icon. Let's type here Rec 709. Now click on action. Click on mouse button and select left mouse button. Now click on this locate icon to set the mouse action. Inside the creative section, I'm gonna click on look. To confirm this mouse action, press any key on the tour box. Then going back to the tour box console, and click on OK. Again click on Action, and select left mouse button. Now click on this Locate icon. This time I'm gonna select my log to Rec 709 LUT. Again press any key on the tour box to confirm this mouse action. Then going back to tour box console. Click on OK, again click on OK. As you can see it's set up to the Rec 709. Let's minimize it. And there we go. Now we can apply log to Rec 709 LUT without opening the Creative tab. Using the same process we can set any mouse action to the tour box. That's all for the tour box Elite. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.